And, uh, hey, I'm Wet Hamster, and again, Kaboom Dragoon. Uh, I've got a big bag of crabs here, and I'm gonna put them in my mouth. Not yet. Ah, uh, so you've been digging into, uh... Oh, and three of the cats are just going at it today with cooking. But yeah, I see you've been digging into Weeble stuff. Been doing what now? Digging into Weeble stuff. Oh? Uh -huh. That's what the webpage is called, where Weeble has his stuff. What webpage? Perhaps. No, I'm talking about my plans for the weekend. Oh, okay. Uh, that's some very interesting plans. Hopefully that goes well. <laughs> well, you're sick. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, just doing a little last-minute preparation before I uh, head out, and... Um... Still say that reminds me of the Predator. Um, I still don't really see it. And, uh, just, uh, switching a few things around. Um, With a tree trunk and a big spiky thing. Oh, it's, thing. it's actually a Gypsero's gun lance. It, it's basically a poison gun lance. They're, once you level them up, they're not bad. They actually get... It's like the only gun lance that has a decent uh, status-affecting attribute, which is the poison one. And it does decent Monster damage. Hunter, Hunter, chemical warfare. Yeah. No, it's got a lot of <coughs> attribute, and you know, it's got a decent amount, and it's got pretty good attack for gun lance. It's a little lacking the sharpness, but most gun lances are to begin with. And There's I also... joking that gun lance is named, but I'm not going to touch it. Hmm. And uh, I also managed to upgrade my water element gun lance. So I'm, um, you know, just showing off new weapons. And... I actually got a lot of water attribute for the occasional one monster that I could do anything with it. And I uh, also upgraded my Blanganga, which is why I've been doing the latest videos here, like, in a certain order, because I needed parts to upgrade stuff. So, again, I could show it off. Uh, still not a fan of the, fan of the Blanganga gun lances. It's, it's still decent, but there's just not enough sharpness. I hate having enough to... Uh, constantly um, sharpen my weapons. It's terrible. Also, um, I've uh, upgraded my Gravio's Gun Lance into something black and uh, deadly. I think this is my best base damage Gun Lance that there is so far. At least in this part of the game. There are better Gun Lances, but that's multiplayer G rank, and that's when I get to it. So, uh, the only downside to it is the 5% chance I, uh, do 25% less damage, but it's so low, low of a chance that it's almost never gonna happen. Until it does, and then you start swearing. Not really, because then it's just like one or two hits you do it, at most. And I got my gold dragon gun lens. I upgraded just for the fun of it, but it's still utter crap. Barely any damage, and barely any attribute. But, you know, just showing off the gun lances that I've been getting a hold of here and there. Uh, the full voltage one is still basically the best gun lance until... Until, like, the urgent mission of this 8-star. Also, the pig has a big G on it. Wasn't going to mention that, but it was creeping me out, yes. <laughs> yeah, I, li I like to torture the pig. The pig needs to die. I mean, um, it's bacon. I'm, um, ta no, it's not tasty. Um, damn, I just blew my cover. Get, get a little Charles Manson there. Ah, I'm sorry. I just like me some bacon. And the pig's still following me around. I have nowhere. And all the pigs have to die. What? Sorry? The Salad? No, not salad. What? I'm um, just showing off a gun lance I can make in high rank, the, not high rank, but G rank stuff that I probably will never <coughs> really show off just because I I won't really be farming for all the G rank stuff to show them off, but, you know, if I can show them ahead of time just through the um, crafting section, I will. Because it's pretty decent damage and everything. Well, for the people who have been following and have been seeing the gradual upgrades of gun lances. And this one's 
all of a sudden, you know, like it, it is a big step down, but it's got some other upgrades that make it more of a damage dealing weapon than poisoning. But it's something I'll get to much later if I ever get to it. And, uh, well, this is how it's gonna look when I uh, upgrade the water one. But more interestingly, looky, a new model of a gun lance that is more G rank stuff. Shiny. It's actually pretty powerful in terms of raw damage, and it's got some fire to it, so that already makes it pretty good. And uh, more G rank stuff. Ooh, Copper Blanganga Gun Lance. Man, look at that minus 20 critical chance. Ooh. But base damage is pretty damn high and pretty good sharpness. Again, you know, just, um... I, I would still go for the Ice Gun Lance, just because, uh, you know, 25% chance to critical if I was going to go for a Blanganga Gun Lance. The final upgrade, I think, of the Wood Gun Lances. And it's still terrible! Ah. I'll take what you can get. <clears throat> no, not everyone's going to be able to get high rank materials, matey. Well, no, I this... I, I have... You can actually get all high rank materials in single player's G rank, oh. but still, the wood gun lance, uh, just that the one I showed off there in the menu there, that was a G rank one, and it's uh, roughly like a third less damage and barely any paralyzed attribute, so absolutely useless. So. I know I'm keeping us from talking about random stuff, but I gotta explain this. This mission, in if you're playing single player, this is the best mission there is in single player to farm for money. Now, I am ashamed to say it's, it took me longer than five minutes to kill these two. Because they are so weak. These two hypnocrates are so ridiculously weak. You bring a good hammer with you, you can kill them under five minutes, about. And they're, all the body parts are worth so much money from them, so if you're ever in need of cash, this is the mission to go to. Just sell all the body parts, and you're made. Um, I do, though, apologize for the people who did not want to see the weapon upgrades. And, you know, just uh, that I've been getting in, just showing off weapons and stuff, that it took me like seven minutes to get to the actual mission. Oh, yeah. Now you apologize for it. Well, I have to Sorry, apologize that's for it, eventually. That stuff. Well, some people want to see it. Uh, plus, it actually kind of gives people, like, who are considering. considering using gun lances. Uh, I guess a good view on, all right, I can kind of see what weapons are really good and really bad right now. I don't know, just um, for completionist's sake. But oh man, I, I, I certainly can't wait for uh, Nine Star. Ugh. There's one mission in there where they even throw a G-rank monster at you. It's actually tougher than a G-rank monster because it has more health. And it has more defense than a G rank monster, so it is almost impossible unless you go to multiplayer, bring G rank weapons, and uh, do it. But I've, I've been able to do it, but that was through a lot of crying, pain, and frustration. So, so there will be a point where um, I've won the game, and I'm like, no, no, we still got a few missions left to go. By the way, I, 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 I've done some multiplayer, and here's some G rank weapons. I'm gonna totally murder this thing and then it kills me. <laughs> That'll be fun. Does that bird have a thagomizer? Uh, it's not a thagomizer. It kind of looks like one. Um, uh, yeah, it kind of looks funny. It's like it's like half feathers, but with a spiky bit at the end. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Kind of weird. It's it's like um, it's got scales and then it plumes into feathers in the end. Hmm. That's always kind of put me off. 
Yeah. Um, and then again, the, the bird itself looks kind of like a cross between an ostrich. Sorry, not an ostrich, a peacock and a... Uh, and a vulture. No, oh, I think that was kind of the... Well, at least the peacock bit, that's kind of what they were going for. Considering it's called hypnocatrice. Yeah. No, it's just the, the oh, head kind of way, reminds me of... Um, yeah, the hypnocatrice actually can't put each other to sleep in this mission, which is kind of a rare but funny thing to see. And if a uh, hypnocatrice is put to sleep, it will drop a shiny. I love shinies. Yay, shiny. I don't think they managed to do it in in this mission, but I just recall offhand because I've been farming this mission. I've been farming this mission a lot, and eventually, surely, you're gonna see these things. And yeah, I've gotten shinies that way, and I don't think I actually mentioned it in the first time the video where I first fought a hypnotist. Uh, just because I don't think I knew about it back then. So, yeah, uh, looks, now, now that I see it, it looks more like it's got a flower growing out of its ass. Yeah. Um, again, I kind of like the Hypnoxus just because uh, of, of it being, well, it's kind of like Kutku, but it, it's still different. Not much, but... And, well, okay, let's just face it, I just like the money. <laughs> and the music is pretty neat, considering it's got its own theme. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of something from Kingdom Hearts. Like the Agraba. Uh, yeah, okay, music. yeah, I see what you're going for here. Yeah, actually, now that you mention that, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's got like a... Well, the, the best... Basically, what I've been able to say is like... It has sort of like an Indian theme, like, you know, India. Yeah, sort of an Arabic kind of theme. Yeah. Uh, but that's kind of a cross between the... Part. And uh, I broke his face and killed him at the same time. Bam. Bam, said the lady. Indeed. Indeed. So uh, basically what you want to do is all the carves you get off of them, just sell them to any other uh, merchant just in town. But at the mission screen, when you're looking at your box, your little box of treasures, then just say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm exiting, and just exiting it will automatically sell all items. And you make... I don't... Actually, now I don't... Suddenly don't remember how much money you can make out on average per mission, but it's a lot. And it's easy and quick to do once you got the mission down. Fortunately, I, I kind of suck, and it takes me longer than five minutes. Your shame will last throughout the cosmos. Ah, uh, well, hammer users are already screaming at me just because of how badly I'm using the hammer. Honestly, I'm going more for trips than anything, trying to trip them and then get some easy hits on their head. One thing that the might put you off, though, is the, the wings have quite a lot of sharp... Not sharpness, but, um, you know, they're pretty tough, so, you know, you're going to... Durability. Them and they're going to wreck your weapon the hell uh, to hell and back. Uh, hmm. I, I think I think that was actually that was it. Uh, uh, I have actually a lot to say about the actual video this time. Go figure. Hmm. And it's still the most we've actually spoken about the game itself. Yeah. Well, that's really quite scary. Well, I probably would have had a you know uh, if I had dragged you in for like the early missions. You know, when you're just getting to a new monster, I would have had plenty of things to say, but... Uh, well, let's face it, high rank is just about fighting all the monsters over again, just harder. And then yeah. tossing a couple of new ones. Yeah, that's and, pretty much par for the course for these kind of games, though. Yeah. Well, any RPG in general, really. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's the same thing, but red. And it's got extra pointy bits, because that means it's meaner. Red? Yeah. Well, here at most they just give more health, more damage, and whatnot, and better parts. At, yeah, at same deal when you give get them a uh, new attack or something like that. So. But yeah, I, there's for the people who who just want to see 
one of each monster being fought by me. Ah, uh, yeah, there's probably... Yeah, there's only two monsters in high rank left. And that's like, they're all urgents. So uh, I'm gonna have to disappoint people there and go, sorry. Uh, I think you've managed to set up a good, um, good precedent for disappointing people in general, really. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, no, all the it, really interesting monsters are in, like, and he's weak and limping. Uh, but no, all the really interesting monsters are in G rank. Uh, I have actually been making a lot of progress in multiplayer with Heat Wizard, so that's good. I'll probably post some videos up soon. Um, but yeah, we're, we're like in the middle of... Uh, we're, in, we're about midway through high rank and on our, on our way to G rank. Um, also, actually an interesting development. Uh, Maul has uh, found some time, and he's getting some spare replacement parts for his PSP so he can repair it. So, uh, hey, maybe I can get some more people in on multiplayer. That, that'd be great. Yay. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of amazed that I've actually had some... Now, now that I've gone to this video, like I've actually gone on on tangent talking about act the actual video. Wow, or, or just yeah. the entire like the, the let's play. People are either gonna love this video or hate it a bit. Yeah, like, oh, we want to hear your your lame opinions on video games. Urgh. I never even got to talk about Dragon's Dogma. This is complete bullshit. Yeah, you you did mention that you 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 I dragged you away from Dra Dragon's Dogma to do some commentary, and you were very upset, very very sad about it. Yeah, uh, I'm ju it's just one of the first games of this ilk where I I'm a complete big old lamo, and whenever I play anything like this or Dark Souls, I typically try and get my character looking as much like uh, Guts from Berserk as I possibly can. Ah. Lo and behold, his face is one of those preset ones in Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> um, honestly, I don't think I've ever heard Dragon's Dogma before, so... I uh, Actually, now I'm kind of interested and we'll probably look it up after the commentary is done. It's uh, Monster Hunter meets Shadow of the Colossus with some Sold. standard hack and slashy stuff in. Sold. You actually climb up on monsters and start hacking them to bits. Yeah. One of the first major boss encounters is a... Uh, Hydra, which is a, oh, which in this game is like a five or six headed snake, mm -hmm. and you have to climb up on its back and start hacking away at its neck. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm sold. This I, is like the third boss in. It's hmm. ridiculous. I actually, but, you know, consider running a Let's Play, I might have to wait to play a lot of these games until, like, I'm done with my Let's Play. That means I have less responsibilities, and it is over. <laughs>